Let us continue playing Shining Force 2. When we last left off, we basically got our asses kicked, but we have upgraded since then. We've actually now upgraded most people's weapons. We now have the longsword, and also we had a rare deal, which was the power ring, so therefore uh, Shin has an extra 5 strength on top of the um, sword enhancements. Uh, Jess has now gone to Steel Lance, uh, Media, Media Max. We've got an upgraded thing for Slade on the off chance he can negate his 7, 8 level disadvantage. He's got to just about everybody at this stage. Uh, May's got Iron Arrows. You don't apparently have weapons because you're a Wolfman, so we're going to go with that. So, with all of that having been done, I think therefore we go and attempt that battle again, hopefully with a little more success. Sorry, it's been a while since I played this, so I'm now struggling to find the way down, which, yeah, I should not do. There we go. So to battle and victory. No, wait, that's Baldur's Gate 2. We'll play that later. But for now, just to battle. We do have some slight stat increases. Um, Slade is still going to get himself killed if we just let him. I should give him the power to him. That would be one way I could try and level him. Right, so learning from last time, don't not get... Whoops. You know what I forgot to do, rather sillily, is that I forgot to resurrect people. Ah, good start. Good start. Right, give me two moments then. So, take two. Uh, we begin with Cousin, and we're not going to move very far here. We're going to play... How did we fail this last time? I think we failed it because we went too defensive and tried to... We tried to deal with Group 6 simultaneously, which I don't think is the correct plan. That says, it's going around that way, I suppose. Shin's a good swordsman, we can go there. We have the hit points, we'll try and deal with that Group 3 first. Chester in position. Peter in position. He can fly, of course, so he's got that um, advantage going for him. Yeah, Slade is not going... Unless Slade gets the kill, we're going to keep him back. That's the plan here. Axe for seven. Zombie. Alright, so you can't really advance much to help us at all at this stage. Dragon's the next lowest person on the list, so he's the other one we're going to be thinking about training here. For now, though, Iron Arrows. Give me a shot from above. 12 damage, 17 experience. Lots of, people, lots of guys we're going to have to deal with. We should be fine, though. Um, the only damage done, the only person damaged so far we can't get to, so that's fine. We'll leave that there. I don't know how much more powerful you are, but I doubt you're that powerful. So we shall wait. You might be able to kill that hobgoblin now, so it depends on we want to try and leave that. And how easily we can deal with everything else, to be honest. Give for the priest kill, which... Um, yeah, Priest Kill sounds good. We're going to, we're going to use Sarah to get some hit. Some, yeah, use Sarah, get experience points. Level 15. All good. Alright, Chester, you're up next. Now, does your weapon... No. I, yeah, I, I should probably have kept the weapon with a bit of range. But we'll live. Right. 11 damage there. And... Oh, Jahar's just out. I thought that was another enemy there, but actually that's just the Birdman, isn't it? Yeah. Whoops. Well, he'll join us. I'm sure he will, anyway. But he is no Balboroy. This is certain. Right, with a power ring as well, we do five only. But that's enough for level 15. That was rather depressing amount of damage, actually. I now have to skip around. Man will stay in position there. Yeah, let's see if we can try that second group over there first, I think. Zombie moves around to attack the priest. Ow. Right, 
what can we do here? Let's have Slade go and attack. I still doubt he's going to be able to do enough damage to kill, but that's four. That's four. He's done in a while, that's eight points, and that's about as much as he was getting in a lot of his previous battles. Karzin should be able to kill a zombie here with fire. Yep. Managed by seven. Fifty points for you. See, this is going a bit smoother now, I feel. Not like I can remember how smoothly it went last time, you know, but still. Right. Cleric heal myself for many experience points. 15 and 15. And not to complain at that. Alright, thankfully it's a locked square, so. Oh, you're just out of range. Wolf down there. We'll probably move Slade over there as well, to be honest. Or we'll just keep him mobile and take points when he can. Yeah, just move, move into blocking positions for the moment. Dragon down there. Yeah, we use Peter as a... Um, We'll use Peter as a sacrifice here because he is strong enough to live with that role. And that group of four should be strong enough, except that I've actually put May into danger with that. Uh, well. Lyric's fairly central, so we might be able to get some healing going on there shortly. Slade can't move close enough and will die if we, if we try anything clever, so we'll just keep you there. Attack for 12. Alright. Karzin just move to there and keep things protected and secure. Archer moves in and attacks Slade for the kill, I think. Not quite the kill! Okay. <laughs> Slade's still alive. Somehow. Um, let's have Peter attack the evil clouds. See what happens. Down by down two five. Still reasonably tough, but I think with the defenses lowered, that should be killable by just about anybody we choose. Shin goes to the hobgoblin and does seven. I did equip the, the sword. Must be equipped. I'm sure it is, but I'm going to check that in a moment. All right, Wolfman attacks, and that's level fourteen for Wolfman. He can pretty much deal with that by himself and this is certain. And in fact, that's what we're going to let him do. Oh, he's poisoned though. Alright, so we need, our, we need to move the cleric around and get... Oh, darn it! Darn it! He's just a drain on my resources. He's about to heal him, I guess, but... Alright. Need to move you down. We might as well use up the um, heal here. Nine points only for that now, so we're yet lo losing the benefit of that a little. Can Dragon get a kill here? Not quite. Six points. We might let it leave that and see if we can get him a kill next round with that. In the meantime, Chester's getting attacked here. Aha! Kill the archer. Something a little fragmented, which is not, which is far from desirable. Let's go and shoot the zombie. Easy healing as well, actually. Uh, I've, I've, I'm playing this a bit dangerously now. Yeah, that's me gone. I think you moved out of Dragon's attack range. Just compound issues. Alright, let's march down to one. Zombie kills. Level 15 for Karzin. So, first half of the battle going okay. Uh, Chester might as well attack the Hobgoblin that's next to him. Down to two. Oh, he's Shin with the kill, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, Gerard, Ma Gerard might as well um, go and take that. He's damaged two from poison. He's got enough. To, he's got enough turns so that he can go back. We can go back and grab the cleric. So that's something at least. Death Archer Hobgoblin. We'll take out the Hobgoblin. And Jahar can take out the Death Archer. Jason Dragon have a turn, really, and he is in range. Alright, kill the Evil Cloud Dragon. There we go. Some points are earned. 49, level 12. Hit point, attack, defense, agility, 170 gold. Our tank gets slightly more tanky. I think Peter and Gerard can probably take on that flank by themselves. The problem is the group of six I'm sort of approaching at this stage. So right, we need to group up and heal, I think. In fact, you need to go over there and heal Gerard in a couple of turns. We'll start moving down and see if we can draw some of them towards us. Yeah, we'll leave you there. Use another two because of poison, but we got We have Detox and Cure available. Right, Detox. points only for that, but that's fine. Dragon moves down. So we can get any more opportunistic kills as we go along here. Here comes the Death Archer. Only seven damage. Live. We can certainly live with seven. Yeah, we'll you there. We might be able to, we'll do some sneaky things with um, our flying dude. You are out of range. This is a little risky, but let's get some damage done. Only four. I knew that that was not worth it, actually, on balance. And they're actually retreat, strangely. I'm not approving of that. Am I even using a sword? I need to check my animations here, but I think I've not. I've somehow not equipped my sword. So I should be doing more damage than that. Right, let's get moving. You down to there. And get you healed as well. Do we want to see? Oh. Thank you. Yeah, I think we'll move to protect Shin a little here. And also, that gives you more options. That's, that group is going to be quite horrible. We're going to need a blaze when we get to that. I can cast one now, actually, but I'm not sure this is the best time for it. It may not be the best time for it, but we're going for it anyway. Full power blaze spell, 12 and 8. Only 15 points though. Mind you, getting some of these killed is worth it. Critical hit for 18, I should have attacked the archer. Level 16 for Chester. Done it. The plan was to have the Wolfman go around the outside and help, but apparently he's going to be too slow for that. And oh, Jahar's going to get maged. Not by, not, not for an awful lot, to be fair. So, maged and shot. His defense is good. It's not quite that good. Damn it! The dragon, though, does have a defense in hand. Right. Before we do anything else, equip. And the powering. Okay. 
now we should be able to start killing some things. And I think we want to kill the Master Mage. <laughs> oh, I spoke too soon about trying to kill things. Um, yeah, the Archer's probably the best here. Difficulty is magic is still gonna really hurt. Um, it's still gonna really hurt dragon if it comes to it. So getting rid of anyone who can cast magic is worth doing at this point. Oh darn it! <laughs> the mission with that. Ah, oh, so much for attempted grinding. All right, fine. Mission over. Look, are you okay, Luke? Senseless. Where are the devils? Shit, did you defeat them? Nobody but Brado can fight like that. Thank you. What, unhappy without weapons and then missing the one time we attempt to use the weapons? I think calling us a great fighter at this point is a bit, um. Oh, what's the word? Flattering. Or insulting, possibly. So either way, I will go back and save and rest up, heal everybody, and then. We shall continue playing Shining... Actually, like, what am I doing? I've got the shrine in here, don't I? Also... So, Volcanon? Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. Where is the... Where is the thing? Either way, I'll find it, and we shall save, and then we will go on and continue playing Shining Force 2. So... It's you, isn't it? Nope. He, has he just joined the Shining Force and I didn't realise it? Ooh. You're a guy in a penguin suit. should be something there. It feels like there should be. There might not be, you know, but it feels like there should be. Special weapons from a rare metal. Well, we need to find rare metals. There we go. Let's try. Right. Resurrect him again! <laughs> to be fair, we got eight experience points for that mission. A full eight. And maybe we shouldn't really... So, okay, next time, more Shiny Force 2. Until then.